Have you ever wondered what would happen if our planet fell into a black hole? This question is not as far-fetched as it might seem, given the enigmatic nature of black holes. So, what are black holes, really? They are cosmic phenomena, regions of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape. At the heart of a black hole, we find the singularity, a point of infinite density. Surrounding this singularity is the event horizon, a boundary beyond which we can see or gather information. This is due to the immense gravitational pull, which swallows everything that ventures too close. Black holes are fascinating, terrifying. They challenge our understanding of the universe and the laws of physics as we know them. Now that you have a basic understanding of black holes, let's delve into the fascinating scenario of our planet falling into one. Imagine for a moment our Earth starting its journey towards a black hole. Now, this is not your everyday road trip. As we begin to close in on the black hole, the very fabric of our reality starts to distort. The gravitational pull intensifies, and it's not just a gentle tug. It's a force so strong that it starts to play with our planet like a child's toy. Now, what does this mean for our beloved Earth? Well, let's start with the atmosphere. Normally, it's our protective bubble, shielding us from cosmic radiation and keeping us snug and warm. But as we approach the black hole, this bubble is stretched thin, like a balloon about to burst. Next, let's think about the oceans, those vast blue expanses covering over 70% of our planet. The increasing gravitational pull would cause monstrous tidal waves, making our worst tsunamis look like mere ripples in a pond. As we move closer, things become even more dramatic. You might have heard the term spaghettification, but what does it mean in the context of a black hole? Well, let's imagine Earth is being sucked into a black hole. Sounds terrifying, right? As we approach the black hole, the gravitational pull becomes so extreme that Earth would start to stretch and distort. This is spaghettification. The term spaghettification might sound amusing, but the process itself is anything but. It's a phenomenon that occurs due to the intense gravitational gradient near a black hole. The force of gravity is so strong that it pulls everything into a long, thin shape, much like a strand of spaghetti. Hence, the name. Now, why does this happen? It's all down to the power of gravity. A black hole's gravity is so strong that it can pull everything towards it, including light. But the strength of this gravitational pull isn't uniform. It's stronger at the black hole's center than at its edges. So, let's say you're standing on Earth, feet closer to the black hole than your head. The gravitational pull on your feet would be stronger than the pull on your head. This difference in force, known as tidal force, would start to stretch you out, causing you to become longer and thinner. The same would happen to Earth itself. But wait, it gets even more extreme. Near a black hole, these tidal forces are so strong that they can rip apart anything that falls into their grip. That's right. Earth, in all its glory, would be stretched into a thin, long strand of matter. To put it simply, if Earth were to fall into a black hole, we wouldn't just disappear into the abyss. We'd be stretched, squeezed, and pulled into a thin strand of matter, experiencing the full force of spaghettification. And here's the kicker. Spaghettification isn't a slow process. It happens at near-light speeds. One moment you're on solid ground, and the next you're a long, thin strand of matter hurtling towards a black hole. Spaghettification would be the last thing we'd experience before entering the event horizon. Crossing the event horizon marks a point of no return. This is where things get especially interesting. The event horizon is a theoretical boundary that surrounds a black hole. It's a point beyond which nothing not even light can escape the black hole's overwhelming gravitational pull. Imagine it as the ultimate border, a one-way door to an unknown realm. 
Once anything crosses this boundary, it's forever trapped within the black hole's clutches. And no, not even the most sophisticated spacecraft or the flash of light can make its way back out. It's a cosmic point of no return, a boundary that once breached locks you into a never-ending descent towards the black hole's core. But what does it mean to our planet? Well, once Earth crosses this threshold, there would be no turning back. It would be irrevocably drawn into the black hole, unable to break free from its inescapable pull. Now it's crucial to understand that the event horizon isn't a physical barrier. There are no warning signs or cosmic speed bumps. It's a point in space where the gravitational pull becomes so strong that escape becomes impossible. Entering the event horizon wouldn't be like crossing a finish line. It would be more like slowly sinking into quicksand, with the pull growing stronger the further we go. Once inside the event horizon, the fate of our planet is sealed. What happens inside a black hole is a hot topic of debate among scientists. A black hole, a region of space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its clutches, is an enigma that continues to bewilder us. Theories about what lies within a black hole are as varied as they are intriguing. One of the most popular theories is that black holes could act as bridges to other dimensions or even entirely different universes. Imagine that. Stumbling into a black hole and finding yourself in another dimension, where perhaps the laws of physics as we know them are turned on their heads, or in a universe where time flows backwards. Some physicists suggest that black holes could be the cradle of baby universes. When a star collapses under its own gravity to form a black hole, the implosion could trigger a big, bang-like event, giving birth to a new universe. Others propose the concept of a fuzzy black hole, devoid of a singular point but filled with a dense tangle of strings, a concept borrowed from string theory. These strings are infinitesimally small, vibrating filaments of energy, the building blocks of everything in the universe. Although these theories are fascinating, they remain speculative due to the impossibility of direct observation. So the mystery of what happens inside a black hole remains a tantalizing puzzle waiting to be solved by the daring minds of science. As we plunge deeper into the black hole, the Earth as we know it ceases to exist. Imagine, if you will, the planet we call home, the blue marble being torn asunder, its very fabric being ripped apart by the monstrous gravitational force of the black hole. This isn't a quick process, mind you. It's a slow, agonizing death, like a cosmic ballet of destruction. As the Earth gets closer to the black hole, the gravitational forces become so extreme that the planet is stretched into what astrophysicists call a spaghettification. This is the final stage of our beloved planet's existence. The mountains, the seas, the cities, everything that makes up the Earth is stretched and pulled apart. The Earth, now unrecognizable, is drawn inexorably towards the event horizon, the point of no return. What was once a vibrant, life-filled planet is now a stream of particles spiraling into the abyss. Every bit of matter that made up the Earth is consumed by the black hole, disappearing from the universe as we know it. This isn't a scenario that's likely to happen anytime soon, but it's a stark reminder of the power and mystery of the universe. The forces at work are beyond our comprehension, but their potential effects are all too real. In the end, Earth would be reduced to a stream of particles spiraling into the singularity. This journey into a black hole is a chilling reminder of the destructive power of these cosmic entities. We've embarked on an extraordinary voyage, delving deep into the realm of the unknown, exploring what could transpire if our beloved planet were to tumble into one of these enigmatic cosmic beasts. Our journey started with the initial approach, where even light itself can't escape the gravitational pull of a black hole. We then treaded into the gruesome reality of spaghettification, where everything we know and love would be stretched into a thin, 
long strip of matter. Entering the event horizon, we were plunged into a world where our usual concepts of space and time ceased to exist. We delved into the black hole's interior, a region shrouded in mystery and wonder, where the laws of physics as we know them become warped and twisted. We then witnessed the death of Earth, a sobering realization of the finality and the absolute power of a black hole. This journey, while purely hypothetical, offers a fascinating exploration of black hole physics and provides us with a profound appreciation of our existence in this vast cosmic arena. So, should you ever find yourself near a black hole, remember, it's best to admire from a safe distance, because as awe-inspiring as they may be, black holes are not something to be trifled with. They are a testament to the immense and unfathomable forces at play in our universe.